Hello everyone, my name is Roy. Welcome to my channel, Roy's Art Crafty. So in this video, we'll be discussing five easy steps with which we can improve our handwriting. So let's start the video. Under this step, we'll be using large grid or large graph sheet. So it doesn't have to be large. So if we do not have any large graph, we can use pencil or scale and we can practice. In this example, we'll be writing some words which will have ascenders like letters with ascenders. Example, H, T, I or D, B. So either we can write some words or we can individually write those letters which are having ascenders. So to get the consistency in the upper part. So let's see how we can write some words with ascenders. In this step, we'll be using smaller graph paper, which means the graph sizes or the grids will be smaller in size. And we'll be writing some words which will have both ascenders and descenders. In this example, longer words are shown here. So it will help to improve the consistency. So while writing or while practicing words with many letters will help to increase the consistency or improve as well. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words
In this step, two lines paper has been used with guided lines. The guided two lines means some graph paper will be there in the background or some impressions or some guidelines will be there to identify the space or the length or the height of the word. So these guidelines will help to notice or to guess the exact spacing between the words and spacing between the letters also. And if we do not have such paper, we can use some scales or pencils or we can use some graph in the background. So in the next or the current step, we'll be using two lines paper without any guidelines. And it is not mandatory to practice or to start from large graph, then smaller graph, then two lines with guided lines. It is not mandatory, but if you practice all these papers just before writing on a plain paper, it will help in the improvement of handwriting. So if we practice a lot just before writing on a plain paper or a white paper, it will develop consistency and as a result we will be doing good while writing on a plain paper because the plain paper will be without any guidelines. So in this step we'll be writing on a plain paper or without any guidelines and a parallel nib size pen has been used so sketch pen or a pencil also can be used for practice. In the next steps, we will be trying to analyze the various styles. So we will be trying to analyze the large graph writing. So here the height of ascenders and the height of descenders have to be same and the space between the letters also have to be consistent. In smaller graph, we will be analyzing the capital letter and the small letters. So the capital letter width and the small letter width, they have to be same and consistent throughout the word. In guided two lines paper we will try to analyze if the letters with ascenders and letters without ascenders are written in a correct way. So in the example it is not written in a correct way. The T H L E S S are not in a correct form. We will try to analyze the alignment of various letters one below another while writing on a two adjacent lines in a two lines paper. So in the step of plain paper, we'll try to analyze if the letters which are same are written in a correct way or in the same way.
you like this video please share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching